Welcome Atlas Core community. Whether you have been here for all of our 15 years or joining us for the first time today, we are glad to have you connected to our global community. Today, we look to individuals for inspiration and for support as our world, our communities, and our families navigate ongoing change. My name is Abby Robinson, and I am the acting CEO and class two alumna of Atlas Core. Today, we are here to mark an organizational milestone as we welcome new leadership, celebrate achievements of the past, and look to our future. On that note, I would like to share some organizational history. 15 years ago, can you believe it? Atlas Core launched, fueled by the idea that talent exists throughout the world, yet opportunity does not. Our original, also known as our classic model, was to bring talented professionals, also known as fellows, from around the world to the United States for 12 months of service at a nonprofit, private, or government entity. We complement this service by providing leadership training through our Global Leadership Lab, which focuses on the core concepts of developing self, developing others, and leading movements. Our long-term service provided an opportunity for fellows to learn, to share, and perhaps most important, to connect. Our creation story was heavily influenced by service models like the US Peace Corps, Happy 60th Anniversary Peace Corps, and AmeriCorps, and many others. We also maintain our commitment to being a learning organization as we too adapt, revise, and enhance our leadership development programs. While our 12-month classic fellowship continues to be our core program, we have also tried variations. We have sent Americans to Colombia, such as myself. We have placed fellows in Australia and Malaysia. We have offered shorter and longer service opportunities. In 2020, motivated by the pandemic, we adapted our model to include a blended fellowship, whereas fellows started service abroad with the goal of traveling to the United States to complete their service. And yes, we have safely brought fellows to the United States this year. I said a special greeting to those fellows and host organizations. We also launched a virtual leadership institute, an online only program which focuses on our core leadership components of developing self, developing others and building movements. Through all this activity over 15 years, we have established a vibrant global community of more than 1,100 leaders from 110 countries who have served at more than 300 host organizations. Wow. If you are one of our fellows, alumni, scholars, and or host organizations, shout yourself out on the chat or on your computer screen, Atlas Core represent. We are so proud and thankful for you. And in addition, we are supported by thousands of volunteers, donors, and advocates throughout the world. Shout yourself out as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the Atlas Core community. As an alumna who served in Columbia in class two, I am indebted to you for inspiring my life path on a trajectory that did not exist 13 years ago. It is an honor to come from this community and to lead this community through this time of organizational and exciting transition. As acting CEO, I appreciate you for your ongoing support and belief in our vision. You helped Atlas Core grow from an idea into an established international organization. It is an exciting time to be part of Atlas Core. This year, we celebrate our 15th anniversary. This year, we sent our founder and CEO off to explore new leadership opportunities as his talents were called upon by the US Peace Corps. Atlas Core understands that developing talent means that you have to be ready to let it flourish elsewhere. This year, we embrace the possibilities as we welcome new leadership. Today, we bookmark this special chapter within Atlas Core by welcoming our founder and CEO, our first CEO, Scott Beal, to the stage. Crazy, crazy, crazy awesome. These words are how Scott described Atlas Core to me when I joined the team 11 years ago. Atlas Core was a crazy idea. And now it is an awesome way to engage talented individuals across borders. Atlas Core is awesome, just as you are, Scott. You remain an inspiration in my life and that of so many others. Please join me as you share your thoughts on Atlas Core 15 years and beyond. Scott, welcome to the stage. Thank you, Abby. And hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be back with all of you and, and back with Atlas Core today. And I appreciate uh, all of those, um, those wonderful introductory comments, Abby. 
Um, I really want to start uh, by thanking you, Abby, for your leadership of Atlas Core, not just over these last six months as, as the CEO, but over the last 11 plus years. Uh, you've been an awesome alum, an incredible leader of this organization, and really a, a true valued and close friend. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Abby, for all that you continue to do every day. And um, I know that the, um, I think, I'm not sure this is on Facebook, but it will be eventually the, the Facebook love and the beyond Facebook, the organizational love, especially from our community uh, is deep and, and well-earned and just so appreciated. I also just wanna pause before really jumping in to thank the entire team and the board and the fellows and the alumni and all of our supporters. You know, I received an incredible amount of love and support um, after announcing that I would be leaving the staff of Atlas Core after 15 years. And, and really all of your support over the last 15 years in this time, uh, particularly during this time of transition, is just so, so appreciated. Uh, I also really wanna welcome Bijan. While I did not serve on the, the board committee to recruit or you know to shortlist the, the CEO's uh, finalist as a board member uh, and as the past CEO, I really enthusiastically um, voted for you on the board and I've enjoyed talking to you over the past few weeks and I'm have so excited for your leadership and energy and vision and have confidence that you are the right person for this job. You know, we are living in a period of transition. And while it's so like abundantly obvious, sometimes these things just need to be called out. And this is not just transition for the organization. This isn't just personal transition um, on a personal level, um, but this is transition for the world. You know, when, when history books get written, there will literally be entirely different chapters of pre-pandemic, pandemic, and post-pandemic. These are entirely different phases in history and new organizations and structures and rules and expectations and, and uh, just entirely new systems will be broken down and developed and created anew as we get through this pandemic. And stressful um, transitions are stressful they are uh, uncertain and they are huge opportunities. And Atlas Core, we are an organization that believes in the importance of opportunity. And as Abby said, you know, while talent is universally distributed in the world, opportunity is not. <clears throat> but there's an abundance of opportunity to shape this new world today, <clears throat> to shape how the world will be formed in this post-pandemic space. And, and so we need to step into this moment um, as individuals, as, as an organization, as a community to really put our, our stamp on history in this case. You know, throughout history, it's been true that talent's been universally distributed, but opportunity was not. It was true 15 years ago and it's still, still true today. But as we look forward in the coming years and coming out of this transition, again, not just as an organization, but this transition in history, we need to reaffirm our work with an Atlas Core. It is this generation of leaders that Atlas Core has developed and will continue to develop. These fellows and leaders who this community has supported that are going to shape this new period in our communities and countries and in our world. So we need to double down our efforts. We need to reaffirm our resolve for this important uh, issue of developing the world's most impactful social change leaders. We need to be cognizant of the, the period of history that we are in and the time of history that we're in with the organization and not look at it with uh, that, that fear of transition, that stress, but really lean into that opportunity and the celebration. I'm so honored to have been on this journey with all of you over the last 15 years and I'm so excited to remain on this journey going forward as a board member. Um, I'm excited to um, continue to learn as we have as an organization and to invest as we have in these individuals. And I'm particularly excited for the energy and leadership and vision uh, that Bijan brings to this role. His own personal story and professional experience is gonna build off the incredible base this community has built and really allow Atlas Core to grow. So I just wanna say thank you to all of you for being here today, uh, watching this video, for being along this journey. I hope to celebrate with you for our 15th anniversary in the, in the coming months. Uh, now that I'm back in the United States, reconnect with many of you face-to-face. 
um, and continue on this journey with Atlas Core as a, as a proud board member and supporter and doing all that I can uh, to, to leverage the incredible talents of our fellows and alumni and really expand opportunity to many of the world's most talented people as they continue to address the world's most critical issues. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity to say hello uh, and for, for really, again, everything along this way. Uh, and I would like to pass it, uh, I'm 90% sure I'm passing it to Bijan right now to keep us going. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much. What a wonderful welcome from you and Abby. And I just want to say it's such a privilege to be welcomed like this. And it's made me feel home right away. And that's very, very important to me because I'm coming home to DC, to a city I've lived in for a time. I'm coming home to an issue I care deeply about. And I'm coming home to an organization that is leveraging way beyond its size. And the privilege of leading that organization forward is so big and I'm stepping into huge shoes. So thank you for that. Thank you to you, Abby, to Whitney and the entire team. Most importantly, it's really important how to step into an organization. I've worked for a few and the culture of welcome that I've received already from the global community as well, from the team, is really amazing. Let me share why this is so important to me. Last summer, I took my dad, who was an immigrant from Iran, on a tour in Berlin. He came with two suitcases almost 60 years ago. And I expected him to talk about all the places that he went in the first weeks and months. But what he actually was talking about was the people, the people who gave him an opportunity, the people who took a chance on him and saw him and helped him thrive. And it reminded me of all the people that gave me the opportunity when I came to the US first to study and to work here without whom I wouldn't be here in the first place. And it's so important because in my work at Save the Children and other organizations over the past 15 years, I've seen such an amazing amount of talent, global talent, whether it has been in Myanmar, whether it's been in East Africa, entrepreneurs, response leaders for our children in Syria that we helped respond to what happened over the past 10 years. This talent deserves an opportunity and it's my mission and Atlas Core's mission that I feel strongly about to support that talent, giving them the opportunity to thrive and become global leaders at home and abroad. And importantly, as Scott mentioned, th there is a pre-pandemic and there is a post-pandemic. And the same way my dad was able to break down borders and walls and get opportunities, that's what we need to do and probably the biggest challenge our century has seen yet. To enable leaders with that opportunity to thrive is something I believe deeply in. And this pandemic will stay with us. The impact will stay with us for years to come, if not decades. So there's a real urgency about this moment to be part of a community that wants to fight, wants to fight the impact of the pandemic, wants to grow together, solve critical social issues like this one together as one community. So I'm really, really excited to be part of this team, of this organization and community because the pandemic has really shown me and many others, developing self is the first step and helping others, developing organizations and leading movements is something that we can do together. That's why I believe in superheroes. And I'm so glad to have Abby and the team stay on and continue that fight to have Scott cheer us on as a board member and to work with all of you. Let's be part of that change together. I look forward to meeting you all and thank you all for your support. I'm passing it back to Abby. Well, thank you, Bijan, and I'm gonna have you stay here with me. We are excited to welcome you. And I, I just love hearing your personal story and your professional vision and inspiration. And it's just kind of the synergy that we wanna to bring to this community. And I say that both as someone who comes from the community and how impactful Atlas Core was for me personally and professionally, now as someone in leadership. And so on that note, to kind of continue the excitement of recognizing organizational milestones, I'm gonna invite Scott back because this is a moment to say yes. This is like the trifecta, uh, three Atlas Core CEOs. And I always think it's amazing. I've been with Atlas Core, I mean, since 2008 when I became a fellow and I've known one CEO for these 
15 years and then boom, now today we're celebrating three CEOs. And I think that's just uh, showing this excitement of leadership. And as both of you touched upon in that, just our world and our communities and our families are going through so much change and transition right now. And as two individuals who have really done well in inspiring others and inspiring movements, we'd love to hear your perspective on that. Uh, before we have you send off on your day, I'd love for you to share with our community a word or a phrase that is motivating you, that is inspiring you in your daily activities. So Scott, I'm gonna go to you first and, and what nugget, what tidbit do you want to share with our community? I'll share two brief things. Um, uh, that incredible, inspiring quote from Margaret Mead about, and I never doubt that a small group of individuals can change the world because indeed it's the only thing that ever has. And I mean, for me, when I was uh, a young activist and an international volunteer myself, that, that belief that change is possible, uh, that really no matter where you're from or no matter what your background may be or uh, what limitations you, others may have put on you, that, that change is possible. Uh, especially when networked with other inspiring, diverse, talented folks who, who share that belief. And I think about that with, with an Atlas core that like, well, we're not even a small group of individuals anymore. <laughs> like we're, we're a, a collective powerhouse of rock stars. Like and change is possible and change, change is coming and change is, is needed and change is, 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 is scary, but it's happening and we have the ability as a community working together to push it forward. And that just, even in whether it's difficult days at, in work or even in, in just in life and, and just, you know, and some days even struggling with all of the, how much change there really is and the pace of that change, knowing that there's this community that I'm so honored to be a part of that's helped creating that better future. And that, that inspires me every day. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. And Dijon, how about you? I was reflecting back on this during this transition in my own uh, progression uh, from, from Save the Children. And it reminded me that 10 years ago, I left the World Bank because I was, I was seeing what happened in Syria. And it's 10 years ago later that I want to look back and say, I've done some work that helped children in that, children and communities. And it's exactly 10 years that I want to look forward and say, in a pivotal moment in history, I joined exactly the right organizations to do something I care deeply about, helping young leaders thrive and get uh, the opportunities that they deserve in order to solve critical issues. So over those 10 years, the one thing that really stuck with me was, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And throughout, that's always guided me, and I hope to carry that forward. Excellent. Thank you both. Both are examples of inspired leaders with a true commitment to human and leadership development. So thank you, Scott. We look forward to your ongoing engagement. Thank you, Bijan. We look forward to your incoming leadership. So I'll bid you both farewell, and we'll look forward to hearing more in the upcoming weeks. And on that note, Atlas Core. There is a lot of activity that's happening. And I think one thing we discover here today is that the power of the individuals, how through the awesome times, through the challenging times, we can support one another. And so I invite you, there are a few activities coming up to join us to get some of that Atlas Core synergy to inspire your day. We actually have coming up this Thursday, August 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern. So check your time zones we're going to have our cohort two celebration. This is part of our virtual leadership institute that we just launched in November, 2020. This is part of our pivot for um, during the pandemic. I wanna thank all the individuals who believed in this concept and all the donors and supporters who invested. And on Thursday, we are gonna celebrate the second group of scholars who essentially our pioneers in this experience. So join us at 10 a.m. We're gonna hear from a couple of the scholars. We're gonna uh, get more perspective on what the Leadership Institute was about. So we invite you to join us. It's gonna be on YouTube and Facebook. And then also I would be remiss if I did remind everyone, as Scott mentioned earlier, this is our 15th anniversary, November 20th. 
we are going to be celebrating and it's going to be a hybrid event. So we're going to have an in-person event in Washington, DC, as well as we're going to be having a virtual highlight, some aspects there. So if you go to 15.atlascore.org and we announced our alumni change maker, Gargi Saha, who is a class one Atlas Core fellow from India, one of the first Atlas Core fellows. She received our Alumni Changemaker Award. We'll be featuring her as well as soon we're going to be announcing our Global Changemaker Award and that we'll be featuring that individual during the gala. And we'll also be highlighting Scott's legacy as the Atlas Core founder and a lot of fun highlights and um, activities during that event. So mark the date, November 20th. And so on that note, I personally wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for engagement with our community, for staying with us, whether through the, all the 15 years or just staying with us through this 20 minute broadcast, because every day when we come together, when we inspire one another, we can make a difference. And I know personally, I've been inspired through this time of transition, assuming this leadership, and I'm excited to continue my tenure with Atlas Core and excited to see what the rest of this year and the upcoming years has to offer. So on that note, I'll send you off with our impact video. We launched this video earlier this year as a way to highlight our 15 years. And I know that this is only the beginning, these 15 years, and there's much more to come. So join us on Thursday, join us on November 20th, join us online, and join us in enjoying this great impact video. Thank you, Atlas Core community. In 2006, Atlas Core was founded to address critical social issues by developing leaders, strengthening organizations, and promoting innovations through an overseas fellowship and virtual learning programs of skilled professionals from around the world. Our community began with an inaugural class of six fellows who hailed from Colombia and India. In 15 years, Atlas Core has empowered 1,000 leaders from 104 countries, partnered with 300 host organizations, U.S. embassies and our network of supporters to multiply impact domestically and worldwide. Atlas Core leaders represent the richness of diversity, inclusion and cultural awareness. Now, more than ever, we need to keep building bridges between social change leaders from around the world. During our 15th anniversary year, Atlas Core continues to engage social change leaders as fellows and virtual scholars. Our fellows serve in the United States and virtually from their home regions. Virtual scholars enhance their professional skills, build global networks, and prepare for leadership in home communities during our Virtual Leadership Institute, a new online leadership development program launched by Atlas Core in 2020. This year, we invite you to celebrate with us our 15th anniversary. Thank you for supporting our community of global changemakers. Thank you for supporting Atlas Core.